More breaking news now. Disturbing body camera video shows the shooting death of Sonia Massey, the Springfield mother of two, called police for help, but a sheriff's deputy shot her in her own home. The deputy who pulled the trigger is charged with murder. Our Charlie Damar is here with that shocking video. Charlie. And Joe and Erica, good evening. President Joe Biden responded to the shooting, saying that Massey should still be here tonight. She called 911 to report a prowler near her home, and as you're about to see, the seemingly routine encounter quickly takes a deadly turn. We do want to warn you that this video is hard to watch. Body camera video shows Sonia Massey opening the door for Sangamon County Deputy Sean Grayson and his partner earlier this month. What take you so long to answer the door? Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes, sir. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure? My medicine All right. Once inside her Springfield home, Deputy Grayson asked Massey to check on the stove. We don't need a fire while we're here. The situation quickly escalates. What are you going? Uh, away from your hot steaming water. Away from my hot steaming water? Yeah. Oh, I would forgive you in the name of Jesus. I would you in the name of Jesus. You better f***ing not. I swear to God, I'll shoot you right in your f***ing face. Massey begins to set down the pot and then can be heard apologizing. Grayson fired three times, hitting Massey in the face. I mean, you know, what else do we do? I'm not taking hot boiling water to the face. What made him kill my daughter? James Wilburn is Massey's father. A person like that, because of his white privilege, allows him to think he can do something like that and get away with it. Craig Futterman, founder of the Civil Rights and Police Accountability Project at U Chicago, reviewed the body camera video. Well, first I saw a woman who um, was clearly a little bit out of sorts, but didn't look and didn't get off in appearance to any reasonable person that she posed a threat of harm. Grayson is now charged with murder as the Massey family looks for justice and begins to heal. I think the last words that my daughter said to me was, Daddy, I love you. I won't see her again. I can't talk to her again. I can't touch her again. And documents reveal that Deputy Massey has worked for six different agencies since 2020. So obviously that video, very hard to watch, but the Illinois State Police moving very quickly, bringing charges last week, and again, laying out the video today. The police, sworn to protect and serve. But what happens when those sworn to uphold the law become the lawbreakers? It's a terrifying reality that has plagued communities for far too long. Across America, individuals with questionable qualifications and even more questionable morals have infiltrated police departments. These are not just a few bad apples. These are individuals who exploit their power, operating above the law they are meant to enforce. These officers engage in behavior ranging from petty theft and corruption to excessive force and even murder. They operate with impunity, shielded by a culture of silence known as the Blue Wall. This unwritten code demands loyalty to fellow officers, even at the expense of justice. It discourages whistleblowers and protects those who abuse their power. The result? A system where bad cops flourish and communities suffer. This is not an attack on all police officers. There are countless brave and honorable men and women who wear the badge with integrity. They put their lives on the line every day to keep our communities safe. But the actions of the corrupt few tarnish the reputation of the many. They erode public trust and make it harder for good officers to do their jobs. We must break down the blue wall of silence and hold all officers accountable for their actions.